So here lie the Lakers. For more on the postmortem, we say hello to CBS NBA insider Bill Ryder. Bill, it's official. LA Lakers mathematically eliminated from a shot at this year's play-in tournament. From grand unveilings to lofty tweets to Vegas even positioning this team as second favorites to win it all. How do you make sense of this season in Lakers history and what was this team's fatal flaw? Uh, Joe, I mean, this is one of the more disappointing seasons, certainly in modern Lakers history, because LeBron James, we've seen this from when he's been able to play this year, uh, up to and including just before this injury. The guy's still at not an MVP level, but a top five or ten level, which means, talking to Lakers sources today, they know they had a window. That window exists however long LeBron James can play at the level that he's still at. And so you're right, it's massively disappointing, and there's a lot of reasons it didn't work. The, the main answer is... Russell Westbrook, his presence on that team, his lack of fit, the players that went away to make room for him, the players that that organization didn't bring in. It was just a poorly constructed basketball team, and we saw it right to the end, this brutal end, when, as you said, they were officially eliminated against the Suns from the Lakers. They did make it out of the play in last year, only to be bounced by the Suns. So following a bubble title, they've now had an early exit and a miss in consecutive seasons. Bill, give me the offseason to do list for this L.A. brain trust to ensure it gets turned around before that LeBron window does close. So I can tell you that, that I tracked down a, a Lakers source today, Joe, a person who really didn't want to get on the phone and have this conversation. <laughs> and I asked that exact question. And the response that I got was, a, I couldn't see that it was on the phone, was a long painful sigh and then a fairly long conversation about the following things uh, there's a presumption that frank vogel is not going to be the head coach next year and you can certainly i think lay some of the blame at vogel's feet but he for me joe would be third or fourth or fifth on the list of people i would hold responsible russell westbrook i know lakers fans are hoping westbrook will opt out of his deal he's not going to turn away the massive guaranteed money he has coming to him the lakers are going to be saddled with him next year now, maybe this Lakers official tried to convince me there might be a team or two that would take Russell Westbrook off their hands in some kind of trade if the Lakers attach a first-round pick and some young players. I find that really hard to believe, but even that's a bit of a disaster because you have to basically give away a pick to give away the guy that you thought was going to be the solution. And uh, beyond that, you hope Anthony Davis is healthy and LeBron James remains really, really remarkable at an older age in the NBA. But there, there's no good answers. There, there's no good solutions. And I don't think anyone who's clear-eyed, Joe, thinks that the Lakers have an easy road next year when this season's behind them. Well, I asked the same question to Shaq a couple nights ago, not to uh, name drop, but there it is. But uh, Shaq told me, you keep LeBron, you keep AD, you run everybody else out of town. It's easier said than done. Bill Ryder, we appreciate the insight as always. All right, here's a look at LeBron's few failures. Cavaliers season one, Cavaliers season two, missed playoffs. But then year one with the Lakers, and then year 19, this season, Lakers falling short of the playoffs as LeBron eyes year 20 in the association. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.